Welcome back. This is Rox Revenhart of the Van Life Rocks channel doing another video today of uh, my new bed, bed design. Yes, this will be like I think design number four, but it's kind of reverting back to an earlier design, just expanding upon it. Uh, if you remember, if you've seen the video of the previous video of using the milk crates as support, well, I used a custom box I made to kind of support this bed design instead of the milk crates. Just being a little bit more sturdy, but it was actually so it can fit in between the two middle seats so that I can still have all passenger capacity as well as ability to fold everything into a bed. I'm trying something else new out today as I've been taking naps after work and stuff. Not going full time in this vehicle just yet, but I have found a little discomfort with that design. So I'm trying to try something else. Plus, I've acquired a second twin like bed mattress. So I'm going to see what I can do with that. I'm thinking of going back to the milk crate design, removing the, the two middle passenger seats, and extending the bed that way. Um, this gives me less uh, ability to transport people, but it gives me a lot more comfort when sleeping. And hopefully I can work with the versatility of both. But I'm going to try this design and show you guys what I'm talking about right now. Stay tuned. So as you approach the vehicle, this is the, the bed design I've kind of gone with other than I did have the inner seats still left in there, but now they're uh, taken out to try expanding upon this design. As you can see, instead of the milk crates, I'm using a custom made wooden box that I built. Uh, this has been comfortable where I just put my feet on the folded chairs and I can lay lengthwise, but um, it's just still a little uncomfortable. It works in a pinch to where I can use both uh, purposes of the vehicle for transporting people as well as taking my my midday nap for work and all that. So this is the bed. I'm going to expand upon this since I've acquired a second mattress. So let's see what happens. So there you have it. Reintroducing the milk crates that I borrowed from the cargo space up, front, up on the roof. I uh, now have another platform for the second uh, twin mattress or whatever this is. Uh, came off of children's bedding. I'll have to take a look at how big it is, but I believe it's just a twin like crib mattress kind of thing. It's basically cheap memory foam that works great for what I'm doing. I have not taken it out of the plastic just yet because I'm just testing this design for the first time. I just quickly covered it up with a blanket just to kind of make it showcase the idea kind of like the big uh, full mattress I had the long way only this because it's two mattresses I can actually fold it on top of itself and set it in the bedding area when not in use and put back the bucket seats for using for transporting people so let's check it out all right <laughs> so we're laying down now on my new bed design this is actually much much more comfortable so I'm laying down full length, as you can see, and it's a lot more comfortable. So that said in mind, I might just go with this design. I kind of dig it. It gives me extra storage. It does take away my bucket seats, so in order to keep those, I'd have to store them at a secondary location, which I don't like. This is not self-sufficient enough, so it's either I got to make the decision to permanently get rid of the middle seats or, you know. And, and trade for the bed, which personally I'd much rather have the bed. Uh, but I don't know if I want to compromise that just yet. So, as I'm saying with this design, we are comfortable now, but I can't transport as many people. So, I got to make a compromise here. Stay tuned. And in conclusion, it does work, it's much more comfortable. I'm using milk crates as extra storage, you know. But what I would change in the design right now, this. Going beyond just setting it as an example is I would take my homemade box either remove it and add four more crates or take it and move it as an end cap and slide these up so that the wooden box being a little heavier will hold everything in place much better so it doesn't just slide around if, which I haven't had a problem with yet because the carpet kind of holds things in place but if I did have that problem I think I would just move the, the little gray box to the front of the milk crates and that should hold everything just fine the thing I like about this is when I'm done, I can just fold it up and pack it up. Flip it on top of itself, throw everything, make it look nice. Definitely take the plastic off of there. 
but on that that's the idea I've done a lot of these uh, bed design videos because that's because I am still trying to figure out which design on a minivan I prefer the best that serves as many purposes as possible for both transporting people as well as being comfortable for what I need for my needs and so far that's been a, a very tricky compromise uh, it's live filming for you. Anyway, as I was saying before the garbage truck came, I was doing this during uh, garbage day apparently. So, initially I started this video out, I was getting ready to do the brake job on this. Instead I decided I got a moment, you know, I started vacuuming it out, make it cleaner. I'm like, you know what, I got an idea with that extra mattress I have. We were trying to sell it, now I'm trying to use it. So, instead of doing the brake job, I decided to build out the bed a little further and test that out. And the next video will probably be the brake job unless it takes too much time to edit and footage and do, take gather the footage. Uh, it might not be the very next upload, but it will be in the near future. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. This has been a, a Van Life Rocks video. Like and subscribe and do all that fun, fun stuff because uh, we are growing this channel and we're doing giveaways and doing a lot of neat stuff. So stay tuned.